And that is it for the first leg of the semi-final of the League One playoffs. Sunderland came out victors in the home leg against Sheffield Wednesday, a convincing 1-0 win. And when I say convincing, they dominated in all avenues and aspects of this game. I thought Sheffield Wednesday were extremely poor, to be honest. I expected a lot more of them. To, if I'm being honest with you, I thought going into this game, realistically, for me, Sheffield Wednesday were the favourites. They were going in as the form side. Literally, their record <laughs> recently has been absolutely unreal. But Sunderland did a number on them today. Sunderland went to a back three. Uh, four across the uh, middle then and then a kind of a liquid three with a Rush Stewart up top Alex Pritchard kind of hovering on that left and then coming inside with Patrick Roberts staying on that right throughout the game and I think the reason why that worked is because they created width and when you're playing at Sheffield Wednesday obviously it's a very very narrow system with two up top and Barry Bannon in kind of the free roll which then leaves Marvin Johnson and Liam Palmer on either sides isolated so what, what Sunderland did extremely well is they got Lyndon Gooch Alex Pritchard, got Jack Clark, uh, Patrick Roberts all overloading down those wings and that's what they kept doing and it, and it pinned Sheffield Wednesday back and then it became a, fat, a, a flat back five and Sheffield Wednesday couldn't get out. It was just as simple as that. Sunderland dominated possession with 57%. They dominated the shots, shots on target. They have honestly done a number on them and they kept Barry Bannon quiet. Barry Bannon towards, I think it was about the 80th minute, he'd only had about 20 touches of the ball. They kept him quiet. They didn't give him a, even a sniff. Absolutely nothing. And I thought, realistically, Sunderland, they probably deserved to score more. They had some very big chances. Ross Stewart probably could have got another. Uh, Alex Pritchard was unlucky in moments. Patrick Roberts probably had a few chances. Really, I think Sunderland are going to be worried going into that next leg because it's not going to be like that. They're not going to be able to just walk all over Sheffield Wednesday because Sheffield Wednesday have to come out. What really surprised me as well is you could see the problems from Sheffield Wednesday's part. I don't understand why Darren Moore didn't make any changes. Sometimes I do think it's not whether it's naive or arrogant to not change the system and to just stay up with that rigid two up top, the five at the back, and get some wingers in there, get some width, attack those fullbacks because Jack Clark, you could have attacked his side. I thought Palmer had chances down that right hand side. And if they'd got other players going down that line, they maybe could have created something different. But I thought Berahino and Lee Gregory really struggled because they didn't get any of the ball. Looking at the side of Berahino, I looked, had a look at his touches earlier. He had 19 touches of the ball. That not doesn't say that side of Berahino had a bad game. It just shows you how little Sheffield Wednesday could get out of their half. Absolutely nothing. But that's all down to Sunderland playing well, not just Sheffield Wednesday having a poor game. I thought Harley Dean struggled. I thought Hutchinson for that, that goal was, it was extremely poor. I still can't get my head around what he was doing, what he thought he was, what he thought was going on there. The ball comes over and he just he runs past it. I don't know if he was trying to put it on his right foot, but it's a simple just back pass or even just booting it into Rose Ed. It's simple football. If you send so many players forward in the corner and leave one man sweeper, it should be someone you trust on the ball. And Hutchinson is usually a player you would trust on the ball. I have no idea what was going through his mind there. Extremely poor. And in these big games, you can't have this lapse of judgment in those big games. It's awful. And Ross Stewart took his chance well. And again, Peacock Farrell, I thought, could have really, he could have come out and just smothered it. I don't understand. He just stood there and then blocked the shot rather than throwing his body at it. And then Ross Stewart just tapped it in. But fair play to Ross Stewart. I thought Ross Stewart had a really good game, held the ball up well, allowed in, in situations where Sheffield Wednesday were piled into their half. He held up the ball well and allowed other players like Patrick Roberts and Alex Pritchard, the creative players, to move around and create things. But overall, I think Sunderland had an absolutely brilliant game. I thought the back three and Kirk and Bath and their right were really, really solid. I thought Anthony Patterson played well. I think there wasn't really anyone. I thought Jack Clark struggled, but other than that, I think Sunderland had a really, really good team. Really, really good, well-round performance, whereas I thought Sheffield Wednesday offered nothing. But as I said, Alex Neal has done a number on Darren Moore, but are Sunderland now through? It's not as simple as that, let's be honest. I think one goal, they really should have go, be going to Sheffield Wednesday now with more goals than that. They, they, they really needed to go in with two or three because... All, all Sheffield Wednesday needs to do at the, in the home ground, in the home game now, and the next fixture is get the early goal, and the pressure's now back on Sunderland. So, really, for the domination that they did have, Sunderland, this young side, I think they showed naivety not to to have that killer instinct to keep going because they had to. Because at the end of the day, it's only one goal difference, and that can go just like that. So, it's going to be a really, really interesting game. I'm buzzing for the next leg, but I thought it was an absolute cracker of a game. Two sides tactically aware, and it was just a lapse of judgment. For, from Hutchison, that really was the difference between the two sides. But let me know who you thought was your man of the match. My man of the match, I'm going to go for, is it a bit of an odd one here now? 
I'm going to go for Ross Stewart, of course, the goal scorer. I thought he held up the ball where he brought other players into it. As I said earlier, I thought he had a very, very good game. And an honourable mention to Bailey Wright, I thought he was very good as well. But yeah, let me know, guys, in the comment section below what you thought of the game, what you thought of both sides, whether you're a Sheffield Wednesday fan, whether you're a Southern Eleven fan. Let me know your thoughts and thank you for watching. Please do like, comment and subscribe. Subscribe, please. It really, really helps. But yeah, thank you for watching. Buck out Sam, over and out. Thank you. Goodbye.